uh, in terms of scenarios that we have not done, I, I guess the only scenario left is uh, to show you the JDE audit. So the JDE audit is basically that the only difference is how you kick in the workflow, right? So you can kick in the workflow with a scenario that I showed like this. These are like, you know, our workflow is picking it up based on these scenarios. <coughs> you can also do it by placing the order in JDE. So here I could go and say M30 and let's do 4240. So this is, this is our term customer. But you say, you know what, for this term customer, let's send this term customer to and they want to pay this particular order to credit card, right? So you can use a payment term here. This is what we configure to use for JDE order. Now I'm going to do So now before order is processed, it's sending me to a similar payment pad you have seen before. So <coughs> so I'll say I want to use this payment method. Also, I say it's successful. You see the same thing here. The remaining balance is zero now. So now I can go ahead and say OK to confirm the order. So now order is placed. Now 23144 has a workflow open. So when you ship it, You got a space in there. <coughs> you can look at that now. This this workflow is open and it's waiting for the ship line. So it's no different than anything you have seen except that trigger for this was JDE. When you are taking the order, you use the payment code, payment terms, but you can define the trigger. You can define the trigger can be an instrument. Or trigger can also be based on some other criteria, such as you know, any kind of address book criteria or things like that. 